Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a flag waving in the wind. Alright, so first, let's go ahead and grab our pencil tool. I'm going to just draw a quick flag. And... Shh, doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, so we're missing a little bit of uh, lining there, so what I usually do is I grab this little line width tool. I'll pull it back this way, so that way there's no line. And then pull it back again to the right, and then you'll have a full lining. All right, the color is orange. I want to change this to black because I'm going to put a cool looking skull on this flag. So let's go ahead and draw our skull. draw way better ones but I'm not gonna do that right now. Just gonna show you guys how to do this. Alright, and we're gonna go ahead and dump some white color in here. And once again I'm gonna do the width of the line and then pull it. Actually let's not have no line. I'm gonna draw some eyes in the middle. Remember deselect your skull and then go ahead and change the color black all right so let's get an eyeball here and let's get another one and probably do a little nose all right so i got my skull that i'm going to place inside my flag let's go ahead and select the skull and i'm going to move it onto the flag Right there. Uh, next step, create another layer. Name it a uh, pole or something. And then uh, I'm gonna just get a square or yeah, let's get the square. Drag out a square. This will be our flag pole. And I'm going to put it right here and rotate it just a tad. Right there, how's that? Arr! This one. I think that looks decent. Alright, so back to layer one, which is going to be a flag. So let me name this real quick flag. Enter. And I'm going to go ahead and select the flag with my, uh, what is that? Selection tool. Okay. Hit scripts up here in the top. Go down to warp, go to wavy. Okay, 72 frames. You can also set that longer if you would like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it to 100. See what happens. Amplitude one, frequency one. This is like the waviness of your flag. So if it's really windy, you probably wanna put that up. Uh, I'll set mine at two, just to see what happens. So there we go, it goes all the way to frame 100, and let's see what happens when we play it. Oh wow, it's really windy today. Okay, so it stopped. You can make this animation loop over and over again by selecting these last two frames. Right click, hitting cycle, and for right now I'm just going to have it start back up on one again. Let's go ahead and see how this comes out. So there it is. It's looping and it looks pretty good. And that is your pirate flag blowing in the friggin' wind. Alright, so if you guys have any uh, suggestions, go ahead and leave them down below and I will try to get to them. You need me to show you how to draw something, anime studio how to create depth, how to create shade, how to animate a character, uh, lip syncing, mouth movement, anything. Just go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I will get to it and show you the easiest way of doing it. Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hello. Right there. Hello. The red button. Do it now.